how I've been robbed of my childhood and emotions. You know, I'm not one to talk about my problems, but this is simply something I can't hold back anymore. I will try to make this short and straight to the point, to not waste your time on the likes of me. It'll probably end up longer than expected, but eh, who cares? So here we go. Growing up, I was always known as the smart kid. You know, the person who always has homework answers and was always silent. Yeah, that was me. I was a stuck-up, nervous wreck who cried over getting a B on a report card. That actually happened once. My parents had always had a certain expectation for me and wanted me to be a realist. As they both grew up in poverty, it would make sense for them to have a cautious mindset when it comes to adulthood. My dad is a biomedical engineer, and my mom is a college professor, so it's safe to say that they value work ethics and structure to the utmost extreme. Fast forward a bit, school gets harder, my anxiety gets progressively worse as I add more extracurricular activities and pre-AP classes and then COVID-19 hits. Little did I know that this would change my personality as a whole. When you're working from home, you get a sense of freedom. Something I was gaslit to believe I had, as I was punished for the smallest things, told to shut up when I cried, even if it was unfair punishment, and even got my property taken. Such as the 3DS games I bought with my own money and toys that I got from my beloved deceased grandma. You know the normal stuff. Then it hit me. This wasn't normal. My mom always said that the reason she treated us well was because she wanted us to take care of her when she got older. But isn't that the job of a parent in the first place? I came to terms with the fact that my parents have their own flaws and realized that my purpose wasn't to live for them, but to live for myself. I started to become a more chill and relaxed person. Knowing that nobody could hold me back was a refreshing thought, and I shifted from an ISJ to an INP, and beat I stuff. Look it up if interested. I became whole and wanted to express myself for who I am. I don't want to be the smart kid. I wanted to be me. Honestly, I don't think I'm that smart. The education system is extremely flawed. But people say I am, so I guess that's cool. So, I kept flanking my online classes, but not for the reason that others did. You see, another thing my parents tended to do was crush my dreams and make sure I didn't pursue them. Every time I did bad in school, they had to bring up how I won't be worth anything if I keep this up. No encouragement, a pep talk, or any help to any degree. This will be a reoccurring pattern. With the time the pandemic gave me, I started pursuing one of my many passions, which is content creation, and surprisingly after a few failed attempts. I was able to get a following on a small game I liked and sensed that I actually could take it to greater heights. My parents would continue the unjust and cruel punishments that I was used to by this point, but then they started to become more aggressive with it, especially my dad. When we started back in person classes, I ended up getting COVID started to fall behind. They threatened to take my laptop away from me permanently, the only form of technology and access to my channel I had. Keep in mind they refused to give me a phone because they don't trust me, and they don't think I deserve one. We'll get into this more later. They would start to use any mistake I had regarding school as an excuse to take away my laptop, and by this point, I was well aware of the consequences of failure. Failure is not an option. So I went to fix my grade and succeeded. However, my parents read an old email that I was failing and took away my laptop anyway, refusing to check the updated grade book I informed them about. My mom asked, what do you need to succeed? Knowing that they wouldn't do Jack SHID, I bit my tongue and just stood there crying because how messed up it was for them to gaslight me into thinking that they would actually care for my problems. My dad snapped and threw a chair at me telling me to get the hell out of my house. Don't you ever disrespect your MOM like that? I ran out of the house barefoot in my pajamas. It was a cold winter night, and I remember it to this day. My neighborhood had beautiful Christmas decorations that lit up the neighborhood. Despite how broken I was, as I just had been robbed of a resource I needed to grow my YouTube channel, it was nice being able to see how beautiful freedom could be, even if the conditions may be not ideal. I explored the neighborhood and went missing for a few hours on a school night, and ended up going back because I had nowhere else to turn to. To fill the void of my dreams being postponed again, I became robotic. I still had a relaxed demeanor, but I also just felt sad every day. Nothing will change anyways, so might as well deal with it. My parents would soon start to neglect me after the incident, and we never resolved things, even to this day. And I don't think we ever will. I knew I never could hate my parents. So use the leftover sadness I had left to make a decision I regret to this day. Self-harm. I came to the conclusion that I was simply defective and was not needed or mattered to anyone. I started to develop a habit of violently beating myself up for every mistake I made. 
I began to theorize how I could matter to someone else. How could I become loved? But all the answers came down to do what you're told. So I considered it. My little brother was the only one to keep watch of my behavior and my parents didn't bat an eye. Sure, I can say I love my brother, but my broken emotional radar prevented me from getting attached to anyone. Firstly, my parents pretty much just stopped looking after me, out of regret of their decisions, just a theory, and secondly, my property has been robbed by my own parents that I am no longer a tangible person anymore. I don't collect plushies anymore. I don't collect Pokemon cards anymore. I lost my sense of identity. My room has turned into a bunch of containers of suppressed fragments of my personality. I ended having therapy only because my brother told my mom what was going on with me. I went to therapy, and it was not effective because it required both the child, me, and my parents to get involved. I was willing to make things better, but my parents shrugged off everything the therapist told them, and soon my appointments would stop. Eventually, I reached a point of emptiness. Nothing would change. Nobody cares about me. I had made plenty of friends over my years in elementary and middle school, but my parents refused to get me a phone or push me to have fun. So, I became isolated. I eventually got access to the home PC, but I was still heavily restricted. My dad refused to install OBS. I couldn't stream, could only use iMovie to edit, and couldn't play on Sundays because that was a family activity day, which is just a bullshit excuse to make us do yard work. So much for F asterisk 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 King family. Trust me, we never do anything on Sundays, and if there is work to be done, then it's 90% us the kids in the households because apparently paying bills and being a breathing parent gives them the excuse to treat us as servants and not humans. Soon, I would get my own laptop, and it would bring a little light to this world. I'm typing on this laptop right now. I would revive my YouTube channel. Slowly but surely light was being brought back into my world. I mean, it's not like I can go ring up a friend, can I? Soon my mom would see how well I was doing both in school and managing my time, so she bought me and my brother phones as a reward. Keep in mind my family is well off, so we basically could pay off the phones in one month. However, my dad didn't like it, so you can pretty much imagine what happened. So I'll give you answer choices. A. My dad talks it out. B. My dad doesn't care. C. My dad does the same thing with my laptop. If you guess C, that's the correct answer. And so I went out for another barefoot walk on the concrete and came back refreshed and depressed. Time passes and I turn 18. They proceeded to forget my birthday celebration and now we're here. I am an 18 year old with no driver's license, no job, no smartphone, no contactable friends, no cooperative parental figure. To be honest, telling this story doesn't hurt me anymore because the past is permanent. I only got over this because my passion is the only thing keeping me happy. I'm graduating this year and my goal is to become someone who can make a change. Knowing that I'll never be loved the way I want to maybe the harsh reality I'm in. Unless someone out there truly cares about me, I can't be satisfied. So instead, I'll work my ass off and do whatever it takes to hone my talents and develop new skills. Who knows if I can become an author, animator, game designer, or YouTuber. All my passions, lol. But what I do know is that I won't let someone else silently suffer like I did. My reason for wanting to become any of those professions listed above is because I want to make someone smile with my creations. Just like how the TV shows I watched while growing up made me smile. Although it is rare for me to genuinely smile nowadays, I hope my emotions can be repaired in the near future. There are a lot more events that have happened to me, but those are for another day. So, what did we learn today? Cherish those who love you, or you'll end up like me, lol. DW, I personally take this all lightly, because it's nice to see how much I've grown and I have a whole lot ahead of me. I hope that whoever actually took the time to read this enjoyed and also learned something. Thank you. AFA. There's no L.